Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Cowboys may have to battle Jets for J. Ron Curse's contract, analysts. The Dallas Cowboys defeated the New York Jets earlier this season, but the AFC East team could look to sign a Dallas playmaker after the 2023 season. Cowboys safety J. Ron Curse snagged an interception in the 30-10 win over the Jets and has been with the team for three seasons. With another dominant win over an AFC East team in Week 4, the Cowboys are sitting pretty at 3-1 and the defense continues to show out, as evidenced by the 38-3 victory over the New England Patriots. However, keeping all of the defense together has already been a major talking point. Bleacher Report's NFL staff broke down team needs recently, pointing out that Curse would be a great addition for a Jets defense that could lose several defensive backs to free agency. However, one area that will need to be addressed in the offseason is the safety position. They have five safeties headed toward free agency in 2024, and it stands to reason that will lead to some changes, the article reads. If they go to free agency to find some replacements, then J. Ron Curse is worth a call. He has become a consistent starter over the last three seasons under Dan Quinn. At 6'4", 215 pounds, he brings some versatility with his ability to play in the box as well as deep in coverage. Losing curse would be a blow, but it's also something the Cowboys are aware of and have planned for. There is no question that curse has played his best professional football while in Dallas. A former seventh-round pick by the Minnesota Vikings in 2016, Curse was with Minnesota and then the Detroit Lions as a rotational player that didn't make many waves. But when the Cowboys signed him in 2021 and linked him up with defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, Curse's potential was unlocked. After starting just 12 career games in five seasons before 2021, the former Clemson Tiger has started 33 of 38 games for the Cowboys according to PFR. In his first season in Dallas, Kurz nabbed two interceptions in a season for the first time in his career. He also registered 10 passes defended, the highest total he's hit in seven full seasons. And you fan, what do you think of the J. Ron Kurz situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.